Meredith Eisenberg with Tame the Internet Monster and in this video I'm going to tell you all about my Amplify system which is a way of taking one piece of content and getting it um, sent out amongst multiple channels so it's like a ripple effect um, you know you can do something once and use it many times and, and let it benefit you well into the future so this is a quick diagram that shows the Amplify system you start out with your blog and and you know basically everything ends up on your blog but it ends up in different formats and the advantage of using the Amplify system is one piece of content gets used many many times um, it appeals to the different learning styles you want your audience to be able to receive information in the way that makes the most sense to them so if they are visual learners you want them to be able to see it if they are audio learners you want them to be able to hear it if they're kinesthetic learners you want to give them some step-by-step -step instructions so that they can do it. And so you want to make sure, you know, that you're hitting people the way that they need to be hit. And, you know, usually most people's um, ideal clients are based on a lot of things, but usually it's not learning style. You really don't know how your um, in cl clients best absorb information until you try presenting it to them in different ways. Um, with the Amplify system, one piece of content gets seen, I'm mean, sorry, Going back, blah. Each platform, excuse me, gets broadcasted via social media. So, you know, you, you put um, some content on your blog as um, a blog piece, and then it comes on later in the week as a video. And every single, and then maybe it will go into your blog talk radio as a podcast. And, you know, people don't remember that they've heard the information before, especially if you've changed formats on them. And so every single time that happens, um, it gets broadcasted back to your social media, another tweet, another Facebook post. And so that increases your social media activity, and it also brings more traffic to your blog. So basically, the Amplify system in a nutshell. Um, go ahead and create a blog post and write down what you're going to say. Um, two to three days later, make a video of the post and post it on YouTube. Now, this doesn't have to be really complicated. Um, you can do a quick little PowerPoint like this video that I'm doing here, or you can just turn on your webcam and, you know, have your blog post there, read it into the screen and post it on YouTube that way. So it's just, you know, there are multiple ways of getting that content out. Um, you can also go ahead and post the YouTube video back on your blog um, if you want to do that later. Um, you can pull um, the audio from the um, video post and you can do that through Camtasia or Audacity or there are all kinds of different free ways to do that um, or you can group a bunch of related posts together for a longer audio altogether too because people generally I think like longer audios so a two minute audio is sort of hard but like a ten minute one is a good length um, so you can put a couple of different audios together to make you know, a decent sized podcast. And then you can post that on Blog Talk Radio or using Audio Acrobat or on iTunes, or there are many different ways that you can get the audio out. And then, as a bonus step, um, go ahead and post um, the slides from the PowerPoint if you did a PowerPoint to slideshare.com. Slideshare.com is kind of neat. I mean, it's a free service, and you can post your PowerPoints there, and then you can pull them into your LinkedIn profile. I mean, there are a lot of different things you can do with it, but the nice thing is, is if you're a business-to-business -business, um, business, and so your customers are mainly businesses rather than, you know, random people who are, you know, doing their hobbies or getting thin or something like that, a lot of businesses are on SlideShare, and so they're likely to see um, your presentation there, and there's a lot less competition there than um, in other places. Um, and the second bonus step is to make a PDF of your blog post and go ahead and put that on a site called Scribd, S-C-R-I-B-D, and it has the same advantage as a SlideShare. Again, there are a lot of business people who um, go there and they're looking for white papers and documents and all of that. The thing is, is to make sure on every single posting that you do, whether it's audio, video, SlideShare, PDF, whatever, um, that you include a call to action to that posting. And then um, also make sure that all of your accounts on all of these different platforms are set to um, send back to Twitter and Facebook 
whenever you've done a new post. And, you know, people say to me, well, gosh, Meredith, won't people get tired of, um, you know, seeing the same thing all the time from me? Well, actually, no, because people won't even remember that they saw it from you before. And people have very short memories and it also takes a number of times before something will really get burnt into somebody's memory. So it's fine to go ahead and have um, your accounts pinging every time something new gets posted. And so this is kind of a sample of um, how this might work in real life. Um, so you would start out with a content, which is, you know, why video, and then you would do your blog, which is, um, you know, do your blog of it on Monday, and then maybe have Tuesday off, and then Wednesday put it up on SlideShare, and then Friday send that blog post out as your newsletter offering. Um, and then the next one is how to do a podcast. So you'd have your blog post on that. Um, you would do, you would take the audio from your Y video um, video and you would go ahead and upload that to blogtalkradio.com as your podcast. And you'd go ahead and put your podcast PowerPoint slides up in SlideShare and then um, add it to your newsletter. Um, and then, um, so the next week you do a new piece of content which is editing video for YouTube. So you'd put that on your blog. And then um, you would take the, pod, the audio from the video that you did last week and put it on Blog Talk Radio. And then you'd put your slides up. And then you'd put that Y video um, video up onto YouTube. And then um, go back and that, the, one, the thing that you posted on your blog on Monday, you go ahead and put it on your, um, in your Friday newsletter. And so, you know, this looks like by the time you get done, you're doing something every different you know, every single different way, um, you're really hitting people from different learning styles and in different mediums. And so then you get a reputation of being everywhere all the time, which is a great thing because in order to um, entice your clients, you want to have that top of mind awareness. And so you want to make sure that, you know, they see you everywhere and they're always thinking about you. And it's sort of a system like this where you're really only creating one piece of content a week, yet it gets blasted out five days a week by the end of it is a great um, time saver. So here are some hints, you know, I, I sort of go through this with people and they're like, oh my gosh, Meredith, this is absolutely crazy. You know, you have so much going on. How do you make this manageable? So here's what I suggest. One is you create in batches. So go ahead and one day, you know, do a big PowerPoint and break it up into smaller little bits and do, you know, each little bit as their own video. So go ahead and do 10 videos at once when you're recording. It just, you know, goes a lot faster. Um, go ahead and make an editorial calendar so that you know what you're doing when. And even if you don't follow it, at least you'll have something to write on that day. Um, Pre-record your video call to action and just put it at the end of all of your videos with Camtasia or other editing software. And if you're going ahead and... Um, you know, doing a bunch of them at once, it becomes very easy just to, you know, replace the video between your stock, you know, beginning and ending thing, and, you know, just to keep making videos that way. Um, and finally, um, outsource it. Um, Fiverr.com has um, a bunch of people who will do different parts of the video for you for $5 and other virtual assistants, um, you know, or if you have a virtual assistant, that's a great place to start and sort of making the videos good in Camtasia and, and, you know, uploading all of these things to all of these different places. So it's, you know, it's pretty easy to create a multimedia empire without too much um, overhead. If you want um, more information on that, um, I do have a class, um, and it's at TameTheInternetMonster.com VA Networking which um, shows you step-by-step -step how to set up this multimedia marketing system. Um, and it also includes a 30-minute laser coaching session with me. If you just want more information, you can go to my website, and that's TameTheInternetMonster.com, and there I have a 15-minute um, um, audio and some worksheets and a customer engagement kit to help keep you going. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope to see you at my website. Um, tame the internet monster dot com